Dear friends of efficient automation, after we have watched the commissioning of the positioning function in the Cinemax S120 drive in the previous video, I would like to show you the control of this drive internal positioning function via a Cmatic controller today. For this, we will use the standard function block Cena pause from the drive library. We can find the commission drive unit with two axes. The positioning function is active on the first axis. Furthermore, the Cmatic CPU is configured. A Cmatic S7-1500 is used in the example. In the first step, we network the drive unit, which assigns it to the PLC. Telegrams are used for communication between the drive and the PLC. Since the drive control works via the standard function block Xena POS, the Siemens Telegram 111 must be configured. The Telegram configuration can be found in the device configuration of the drive unit. Double-click on the Profinet interface of the CU to open its properties. All drive objects are listed on the Telegram configuration. Only the possible telegrams are offered under Telegram. After the function module basic positioner is active on the first axis, only the telegrams for positioning are available. The Sina pause block requires the Telegram 111. This telegram is selected and adopted for the send and receive direction. As a result, the necessary interconnections are automatically performed in the drive. Since the basic positioner has now been put into operation and the appropriate telegram has been configured in the drive, we can now dedicate ourselves to control on the PLC side. The Sina POS function block can be found under the global libraries in the pre-installed drive lib or in the instructions under optional packages. We call the block in the cyclic OB1 program via drag and drop. An instance DB is created here. In order to observe and control the Xena pass block later in the program, the input and output data are interconnected with global tags, which have already been created here in the tag table. For our example, we just connect some of the most important inputs and outputs. We start with the mode input to select the different operating modes of the basic positioner. The enable access input is used to switch the drive on and off. Cancel traversing means discarding and cancelling a motion task and must have a one signal for positioning to be performed as it is switched to low active. The same applies to intermediate stop, which is used for the intermediate stop function. Jog stands for the jog function. Egg error can be used to acknowledge any pending errors. The input execute mode starts the selected job. The input's position and velocity define the positioning movement. The overrides for speed, acceleration and deceleration are defaulted to 100%, which we leave it as it is. In the config epos input, further functions of the axis are broken down in binary form. For example, bit 0 and 1 stand for the shutdown functions of 2 and of 3 and are therefore set to 1 by default. Bit 2 activates the software limit switches. Since we want to use these, we additionally set bit 2 by specifying the converted decimal value 7. The value 7 results when the first three bits of the control word are set. The list of all control bits can be found in the manual. In order to be able to observe the movement of the axis later, we connect the outputs with current position and speed. The Sina pause block offers many other status outputs which report the status of the axis. This feedback can be used, for example, for the step-enabling conditions of a programmed sequencer. Then we come to the inputs that are important for the correct operation of the communication. We have to inform the block about the hardware ID of Telegram 111, with which the drive block should communicate. The hardware IDs are automatically assigned by the PLC when the peripherals are networked. We find the hardware ID of the telegram, for example in the telegram configuration of the drive or in the system constants of the PLC. From there, we can connect the constants directly to the inputs of the block via drag and drop. The IDs are thereby symbolically addressed. If the inputs for the hardware ID are not correctly interconnected, the block will report an error and cannot communicate with the associated axis. The offline configuration has now been completed and we can load it both into the drive and PLC. The download can be carried out together by marking the two devices and the project navigator. We follow the instructions and start the loading process. We can now control the various functions of the access via the Sina pause block. Normally, the commands for the inputs would be given from the user program. 
In our example, we manually control the inputs via our variables. For this, we created a watch table and inserted our variables there. Additionally, we opened the diagnostics view of the basic positioner in the second window. This way, we can set monitor directly at the drive side, which set points are sent and how the axis behaves. We go online, switch on the monitoring and can now control the variables. Control bits can be set and reset by using the shortcuts Ctrl plus F2 and Ctrl plus F3. We now only perform a few movements as an example. The different operating modes are explained more detailed in another tutorial. We can jog the axis firstly. This function is used, for example, to set up an axis. For this, we select mode 7. All modes are described in the manual of the block. Now we switch on the axis via the enable axis command and start the jog command. We can observe the actual position and see that the axis is now moving as long as the jog command is pending. When deselected, the axis stops. We can now home the axis. The basic positioner has different homing modes which are also described in another tutorial. Here we use the function set reference point by selecting mode 5. The homing is started by setting the command execute. We can see in the variable axis homed that the axis is now referenced and the current position is now at zero again. From this position, we want to start a relative positioning motion of 400 mm. We select mode 1 and specify the target position of 400,000 LU. As speed, we set 5000, which equals 5 million LU per minute and we start the task again via the execute command. We can observe the actual position and speed. We proceed with absolute positioning in the same way. We choose mode 2 and set the set point position to 150,000 LU, which stands for 150 mm. We start again with execute and we can see that the axis now moves absolutely to the specified position. The manual contains a detailed description of the additional modes such as jogging or referencing. It was a pleasure for us to give you an insight into the control of the basic positioner. Stay in motion. See you in the next video. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.